NASA testing supersonic X-59 jet that could take you anywhere on Earth in just two hours. The new NASA X-59 QSST is a new supersonic jet that is being developed by NASA. In collaboration with Lockheed Martin, a known military aircraft developer, which is specially designed to reduce the sonic boom that's common with supersonic aircraft. This singular reason has resulted in the ban of such aircraft over land in many countries. Even before now, supersonic flight has been a dream of engineers and pilots for decades, with significant advancements being made over the years. But the singular issue of the sonic boom that comes with breaking the sound barrier has been a major obstacle to the commercialization of supersonic aircraft. In case you're wondering what a sonic boom is, it's a loud shockwave that is created when an aircraft travels faster than the speed of sound. It can be very disruptive and has been a major reason why supersonic flights have been banned over land in most countries. The wave is capable of damaging even buildings below its flight path. The history of supersonic aircraft can be traced back to the late 1940s when the first experimental aircraft that was capable of breaking the sound barrier was developed. The first supersonic flight was made by Chuck Yeager in the Bell X-1 on October 14, 1947. And that wasn't all. The following decades came with even more impressive designs. There were records of some supersonic aircraft that were developed for mainly military purposes, as the regulation on the aircraft has deemed it unworthy for most commercial purposes. This saw the birth of interesting aircraft, including the F-104 Starfighter, the MIG-21, and the SR-71 Blackbird. These aircraft were used for a variety of missions, including air superiority, reconnaissance, and bombing. The 1960s were even more interesting. There was also interest in developing supersonic airliners during this period. The first supersonic airliner, the Tupolev Tu-144, entered service in 1975. However, the Tu-144 was plagued by technical problems and was only in service for a few years. The other supersonic airliner, the Concorde, was very much more successful than its predecessors. The Concorde entered service in 1976 and flew over 20 years. However, certain factors came into play that would see the fading away of this aircraft. The Concorde was also expensive to operate and was eventually retired in 2003. Since the retirement of the Concorde, we have witnessed a pause in the development of supersonic aircraft, at least according to the information available to the public. There have been no new supersonic airliners developed. This, however, doesn't mean that the interest in the technology has faded. On the contrary, there is still some interest in developing supersonic aircraft, as they offer a wide range of benefits that could change a lot of things in the way we do things, especially the potential for faster travel times. The main stumbling block seems to be some of the challenges that need to be addressed without which it would be very much difficult to develop a successful supersonic airliner that would serve the wide range of purposes that it has potential for. These challenges include the high cost of operation, the environmental impact, and noise pollution. However, today, the development of the NASA X-59 seems very much promising and will hopefully be able to succeed where the others have failed and the two companies involved seem very much capable to address these challenges. So, what's different about the NASA X-59? The NASA X-59 QSST is an attempt by engineers to make supersonic flights more acceptable, which means fixing the obvious issues that come with such advancement. The craft is designed to reduce the sonic boom to a much more tolerable level. The structure of the aircraft has a very unique design that helps to reduce the shock waves as it's able to glide through because of the shape and it is also equipped with a special noise suppression system. 
the shape of the aircraft eliminates the ability of the pilot to see ahead of the flight path through the traditional windows provided in the aircraft. Instead, it makes use of high-quality camera lenses on the aircraft to show the pilot the traffic ahead of the flight path. NASA is partnering with Lockheed Martin on the X-59 project, which is reportedly ready for testing at the moment. The original plans had the debut flight scheduled for 2022, but that window was missed due to some factors. Now, the aircraft is expected to make its first flight later this year and it will undergo a series of test flights over the next few years. However, the flight will be tested over select communities in 2024 to ascertain how people will receive the degree of sonic boom the aircraft produces. This flight test is really important for the future of the aircraft, as it will provide the data that will be used to consider whether or not current regulations of supersonic aircraft will be changed. This will possibly allow such technology to be integrated into commercial flights. The aircraft will fly at a speed of Mach 1.4, or about 925 miles an hour. The sonic boom from the X-59 is expected to be very much conducive for the people below the flight path. More information on this will be revealed when the test flight finally takes place. The development of the X-59 has the potential to revolutionize supersonic flight. If successful, the aircraft could pave the way for the return of supersonic commercial flights. This would allow people to travel long distances much faster than they can today. At the moment, the estimation is that this aircraft will be able to take anyone to any part of the globe in just two hours. The X-59 could also have a significant impact on the global economy by making it faster and easier to travel. This aircraft could boost trade and tourism. The aircraft is still experimental, and the only one available has just one seat for the pilot. When the tests are done and everything checks out, then we may be looking at a scale-up in production that will serve more purpose. The NASA X-59 supersonic aircraft is undergoing a series of ground tests at Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works facility in Palmdale, California, which even includes the vibration tests. These tests are designed to ensure that the aircraft is safe to fly and that it can withstand the stresses of supersonic flight, which will have the aircraft flying faster than the speed of sound. Different tests are being carried out on the ground to ensure that the craft will be safe enough to fly. These tests include the engine runs. This focuses on the X-59's two General Electric XT-41 engines, which are being tested to ensure that they can provide enough thrust to fly the aircraft at supersonic speeds. The engine runs are conducted in a specially designed test cell. It will be quite dangerous for the pilot if these tests do not take place on the ground before the flight. The taxi tests, on the other hand, are targeted at ensuring that the X-59, when on the ground, running for takeoff, has good handling for the braking systems. The taxi tests are being conducted on a runway at Skunk Works. This test is very crucial to even ensure that the pilot and aircraft can be able to handle a safe landing. During the loads testing, the X-59 is subjected to a series of simulated loads to test its structural integrity, which are carried out by some computer-controlled hydraulic arms in the facility. This will ensure the balance of the aircraft. One other serious challenge that the aircraft will have is the controls at such high speeds. This is why the flight control system tests of the X-59 is targeted at ensuring that it can operate properly at supersonic speeds. And, since it isn't safe yet to fly the aircraft, the flight control system tests are being conducted using a simulator. It's expected that once the ground tests are complete, the X-59 will be ready for its first flight, which is scheduled for later this year. Reducing the sonic boom to a gentle, quiet sonic thump will make it possible for commercial supersonic flights to be allowed over land again. The ground tests are an important part of the X-59's development program. They will help to ensure that the aircraft is safe and reliable and that it can meet its design goals.
to ensure that the best care is taken in the process. The ground tests on the X-59 are being conducted by a team of engineers and technicians from NASA and Lockheed Martin. As mentioned earlier, the ground tests are an important milestone in the development of the X-59. They will help to ensure that the aircraft is ready for its first flight and that it can meet growing expectations. That will be all for this episode, and we will see you in the next one.